Uh, hi guys. Okay, I'm Jacob. Welcome to uh, your chapter on continua uh, continuity. Okay, this is usually question one of your exam, unless uh, the syllabus changes or anything. But so far, since I've been to, uh, doing medicine five, this question has always been last last part of question one. So. Yeah, so for this question, you have to understand uh, what they mean when they say a, a, a function is continuous or discontinuous. So let's get started with that. So on your screen there, I have the definition of what a continuous function means and a discontinuous function means. So continuous function is a, a defined function. Remember, if a function is defined, it means it ha if I have a function of y and I substitute an x value let's say for example i have y y is 2x so we for this function we can we know for all x values this function is continuous even zero if y if x is close to zero y is, is zero the fact that the answer you have an answer it's not undefined or anything it means that function is continuous at that x value as long as it's defined when a function is equals to zero it's still defined so many students confuse the two they think zero means undefined no the only time your function is undefined is if you divide if you divide by zero or anything so now this continuous, for example, if I have y, it's 1 over x. We know if x can be 0, this whole function will be undefined. You see? So this function is, is discontinuous only at x equals to 0, but at all other values except 0, it's continuous. Because well, you should also understand that they can ask you determine if determine for which values of x is this function continuous so the first thing you must do is to first determine where it is not continuous or where it is discontinuous then you know after getting that that point then it means everywhere else is continuous except where the x is that value for discontinuous but you will see when we do examples, yeah. But remember, discontinuous means undefined. Continuous means defined. And don't cram because these things can be different. If they give us a function of a square root of x, we know the moment x is less than 0, this is undefined. But the moment x is greater or equals to 0, this is defined. Because square root of 0 is 0. It's not undefined, right? So you see. So it depends. So you have to understand the concept of continuity or of continuous and discontinuous. So undefined is discontinuous. So if I have a negative number inside my square root, it's and it's discontinuous. You see? But if it's zero or positive, then it's continuous. Okay, let's get going. Okay, now let's define with functions. Let's make uh practical examples let's say i have a function of x function of x is uh, x plus 2 over x minus 2 number one where is the function continuous number two where is it discontinuous? Number three. I want to make it interesting. At x equals to one, is it continuous or discontinuous? There. So let's start. First thing. So I'll. I'll let me underline here. We'll answer here. So always, always, this is what I always tell my students. 
whether the question says continuous or discontinuous always determine where it is discontinuous where it is discontinuous so the only way this function can be discontinuous is if if this if your denominator is zero this is discontinuous if it's zero right so now let's solve x equals to two which means that x equals to two the function is discontinuous which answers question question number two now what about question one where is it continuous it's continuous at all other at any other value except two because that two is discontinuous but if you substitute zero you get an answer because so you have two over minus two you substitute one you have something else you see number three how do you answer number three they want to know if it's continuous or discontinuous at x equals to one so what you must do you substitute that one so i have one plus one one plus two over one minus two do you see my answer it's minus three which means at x equals to one f of x is continuous even if the answer was zero it's continuous the only time you will say it's discontinuous if if the answer is undefined like if i'm dividing with zero if they said that x equals to two is it continuous or discontinuous then you substitute you check you get undefined but this answer we didn't have to calculate we already have our answers we said it's only discontinuous at two do you see this answer is not two which means it's continuous because we said all values except two is continuous i hope we get it okay let's do uh okay let's see i think we should do four examples i hope i'll have space let's say number one we have y it's square root of 2x minus 1. Number 2, we have y, it's, hmm, let's see, 2 over cos x. Then here they give you an interval from 0 to 2 pi. Remember in N6 and N5, from N5, you don't deal with degrees anymore, you deal with radians. So make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Then number three. Determine if... Determine... I don't want to write the whole question. Determine if y equals to, let's say square root of 1 minus 2x is continuous at x equals to half there the last one the last one y equals to sec x okay we'll talk about this ones okay first one determine discontinuous where it is discontinuous second one let's say continuous this one let's say discontinuous okay so we know th for this thing to be discontinuous we need a negative inside the square root because we know discontinuous means undefined so a square root of a negative is undefined so the only way this will be discontinuous is if your square root is less than zero now you solve for x less than one so if x is anything less than positive half this will be discontinuous that's your answer but what if they said continuous you you do the same way but then you conclude because this is answer for this continuous for continuous it will be x greater or equals to half now continuous uh, number two remember i said every time you check with uh 
discontinuous so for this thing to be undefined cos x must be zero the only time x uh, cos is zero you do a cos of zero don't forget your calculator on gradient a cos of zero i'm getting pi over two or a half pi this is pi over 2 is 90. We know cos, if you draw your cos graph, it's 0 at 90 and 270. So, which means 270 is uh, 3 pi over 2. Okay, let me add 2 to be sure. It's uh, 3 over 2 pi. 3 pi over 2. This is 270. So it's two answers. You don't write 19 to 70. You won't be you won't get it correct. You must convert it to radians. There. Then this this means that this function is discontinuous at these two values. The question they wanted continuous. Therefore, you must conclude. Therefore, f of x is continuous at all elements of all values of x except this two, your pi over two and three pi over two, except them only. But everywhere else is continuous, except only these two points. Because if I divide by zero, I will get undefined. But every everywhere else, I'm, it's not zero. Now here, determine if this is continuous at x equals to half. So what do you do? You substitute half. 1 minus 2 times half. I'm getting square root of 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Is this continuous or discontinuous? This is continuous. Discontinuous is only if it's undefined. Now the last one. Determine if this is... Uh, determine where the values of x, y, sec x is discontinuous. We know we need the fraction. Sec is the same as 1 over course so we do the same thing if this is zero this is uh discontinuous we already determined this here so this is discontinuous at x at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 it's the same as this one i don't have to repeat the process again so that's how your continuous and discontinuous works guys you check where it's undefined don't claim if it's a fraction take the bottom part equate it to zero if it's a square root your your your, your inner side of the square root shouldn't be negative that's how you determine your continuity all right thank you see you next time don't forget to email any questions you have or you can leave a comment in the comment section thank you goodbye